Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 2.5, we explore the various ways of creating a new project plan. We see how to create a new project plan as a blank project, from an existing project or from existing templates. To create a new project, we go to File, which opens the Backstage view. We click New. The first icon shows Blank Project. We click on that and then select Create. This makes a blank project template for us. We can start entering the task names and the various properties for the tasks and start making our project. The other option is we can make a project from an existing project. For example, if the new project that we want to make has very similar tasks or resources to an existing project, instead of making a new project from scratch, we can use the template of the existing project and customize it to our new project. So we click on new from existing project and browse to where our project is and we say create new. So this makes a copy of the existing project and we can edit whatever information we want to to customize it to our new project. The next option is to create a new project plan from an Excel workbook. For example, we have made a small sample of a few tasks in Excel. One column gives the tasks, the others give the duration. Now, if we want to take this to MS Project, we can say new from Excel workbook. It will ask us where is the file, so we can choose that. We say open. It opens the project import wizard, so we click next. It asks whether we want to create a new map or use an existing map. So since we are creating a new one, we say new map and click next. If we choose as a new project, it forms a new project. If we say append the data to an active project, then it adds the list to the currently active project or it can merge the data into an active project. So since we are starting a new project, we will choose as a new project and click next. It asks us what all type of information we want to import, tasks, resources, assignments. So let us say we choose tasks. It also gives the option of importing the headers. We click next. Now we have to choose the worksheet from Excel that is sheet 1, 2 or 3. We say sheet 1. It shows the two fields that we have in Excel. Now it asks us where to map. For example, the task field in Excel has to be mapped to which field in MS Project. So we click here and from a list of all the names possible, we choose the task name. Duration is automatically mapped as duration as it has the same name. We say next and finish. So now we see that the Excel data has been imported into MS Project with the task being mapped to task name and the duration to duration. Similarly, we can import data related to start, finish or all other details that we have in Excel. We can also use office.com templates to create projects. 
for that we can go to forms evaluations and check the various kinds of templates which are already available if these templates are similar to the project that we want to use we can directly use them similarly we can go to planners there are some default planners which are given we can use these as a base to create our new project plan file new there are some plans and proposals which are given like business plans community plans and home plans which are ready made templates for us to use and there are some schedules like business schedules for primary market research etc if our project is similar to any of these we can directly use these schedules and customize according to our needs so to summarize we have seen how to create a new project plan as a blank project from an existing project or from existing templates this presentation material is available on group.net thank you for joining us on this tutorial in the next part of the video tutorial series at group.net we will take a look at how to set non working days for a project